In the last session, we have considered problem 7 on 5 yearly moving average. In this session, we shall take a problem number 8 on 4 yearly moving average. The problem has been given here. Compute 4 yearly moving averages for the following data. The data is given, the years and the sales. Now, as we have learned, when we find the moving items, whether 3 items or 5 items, we will write it in the middle. Same concept is applied for 4 yearly also. Now, for example, say here, first year is 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40. If this is the case, how will you do it? For the first four years, we add. We write in the middle. Middle is somewhere here. It is not exactly for the second year, nor for third year. See, it comes in between the next four years, overlapping next four years. This is going to be 50, 60 and 80. In the middle, middle comes here, 80. Then the next four years, this 70, 90 and 100. Middle comes here, middle is here, 100 and so on. So if you can observe that, we don't get exactly for one particular year. It is in the middle of the first and second, second and third. But we want the train values exactly for the year. So what we do is, after four items moving sum, we prepare one more column showing two items moving sum. It's like here. This is four items moving. Now the next will be two items moving. See here. 60 plus 80 in the middle. What we get is 140 in the middle. So that comes exactly for the third year. Next. 80 to 100 in the middle. That comes to 180. Exactly for the year it comes. So when you're dealing with four yearly, remember that. We have to prepare one extra column. After four items moving sum, we want one extra. That is two items moving sum. We do this only to get the total, the average, exactly for the year. When it is two yearly and four yearly, remember one basic. You should leave one line after every year. Because when you want to write it in the middle, we need a line here. So when you're doing it two yearly and four yearly, after every year a line must be left the way what we have done here. Now, let us start finding the four items moving sum. First four items. First four items, 75, 60, 55 and 60. Exactly in the middle, middle means in between 12, 13 it comes. What we get is 250. Next four items. Now, exactly in the middle, that means it comes in between 13 and 14. What we get is 240. Then, next four items. We get in the middle of 14 and 15. The total of these four items comes to 250. Then, next four items. 14 to 17, it comes in the middle of 15 and 16. The total of that 15 and 16 comes to 265 the next four years the total will come in between 16 and 17 the total of these four items 280 next next four years starting from 16 ends with 19 total will come in between 17 18 that is nothing but 300 it's again 300 now four items moving some we have come there if you can observe the moving items are not exactly for any year. They are in the middle of the year. And that is the reason why we take one more column. Two items moving sum. So that when you add and find the moving sum. We get exactly for the particular year. Let's see the first two. The first two. In the middle we write 490. Here. 490 comes exactly for the third year. That means for the first two years. And naturally for the last two years there will be no trend values. Next. Five fifteen. Next two years will be five forty five. The next two years is going to be five eighty. And then the last two years, this is six hundred. Now, once we get this, we find the trend values. 
3 yearly we divide by 3, 5 yearly we divide by 5, but 4 yearly. First we have got the average of 4 and then we have got the average of 2. That means first we divide by 4, then we divide by 2, instead of dividing 2 two times. Listen, first we are going to divide by 4, then by 2, instead of dividing 2 times separately, divide only once. Once by what? First we are dividing by 4, then by 2. 4 twos are 8, so we will divide by 8. I repeat, instead of first dividing by 4 and then by 2, we divide directly by 8. We get the train values, that is 490 divided by 8. What we get is 61.25. In the same way, we will go on dividing this. And the last 600 divided by it is going to be 75. So for the last two years and the first two years it will be nil. That's all. This is how we calculate the trend values. So in this session we have considered problem 8 on 4 yearly moving average. In the next session we shall take a problem number 9 along with graph with 4 yearly moving average. Thank you.